What's up YouTube, it's your boy Andre here back with another video. Now in today's video we're talking about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II and five features I'm very very excited about with this device and I can't wait to get my hands on. But I just want to show you something before we start. This is a poll that GSM Arena did uh, and the questions asked were the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is the perfect flagship, too expensive, missing some features, and not for me. 14,000 people that answered these questions. 45% of the people selected that the Xperia 1 Mark II is the perfect flagship. 42% was it's too expensive. Now there are a very small amount of people that think it's missing features and it's not for me. But this just goes to show that if Sony would just improve the price of the Xperia 1 Mark II a little bit, you could have over 80% of the people agreeing that this is the perfect flagship device. Number one, the feature that I'm super excited about is Sony's refreshing design with its sharper edges. It's almost like Sony are going back to their roots with this one. It's slim, it's lightweight, and it has Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and the back with an aluminium frame. If we compare this to other flagship devices out there, the Xperia 1 Mark II is actually the slimmest between the Samsung S20 Plus and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's also the most narrow device out of the three, so that means it will fit in your pocket a lot better. And weight is also quite an important factor with modern day flagships. As a daily driver I also use the iPhone 11 Pro Max and trust me when I tell you that this device you can definitely feel its weight and out of the three the iPhone 11 Pro Max is the heaviest and the uh, Xperia 1 Mark II is the lightest so I'm really looking forward to that. Next is the fingerprint scanner embedded into the power button on the side. The simplicity of just pushing the power button to unlock your device just makes so much more sense to me. However, it will be interesting to see how Sony market this in the US where they are not allowed to use an embedded fingerprint scanner into the power button uh, due to some patent laws and this caused multiple issues with devices like the XZ Premium which also had this fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button and that feature was disabled in the US. Hopefully this time around they have some sort of agreement with the US where they can allow the fingerprint scanner into the power button uh, but we'll just have to wait and see when the device is actually released. Now the number three feature that I'm excited about with this new device is the 4000 milliamp hour battery. Now reading through the comments of my previous videos a lot of people complain that it's only a 4000 milliamp hour battery and not something like 4500 milliamp hours as seen in other flagship devices in 2020. However, we need to realize that this is a massive jump in itself from the Xperia 5 where it only had a 3140 milliamp hour battery uh, to the 4000 with the Xperia 1 Mark II. Now my iPhone 11 Pro Max only has a 3969 milliamp hour battery and its battery life is amazing. And I strongly believe that it's all about how well the battery is actually optimized. And to prove this point, I wanna show you something. This is a test another YouTube channel carried out and the channel is called Mr. Who's the Boss. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. He tested five devices and the iPhone came in second place above the S20 Ultra with their much bigger battery capacities. So yes, I am excited about Sony's 4000 milliamp hour battery and this is a huge increase over what Sony has done previously with their devices. Now, number four is the return of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I wanna explain why this makes a lot of sense to me. One is you don't need any adapters. Two is you can charge your device and use the headphone jack at the same time. And three is if you do not have Bluetooth connectivity in your car, you can use the aux port straight away without any adapters. Now, when manufacturers started to remove this port, I I initially assumed, I'm sure like many people out there, that it was to make devices slimmer. However, I just want to draw your attention again that the Xperia 1 Mark II is the slimmest out of the 11 Pro Max and the Samsung S20. So Apple and Samsung have chose to purposely remove the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, don't get me wrong, I do believe the 3.5 millimeter port will become obsolete in the very near future, but there should be a good reason why it's removed, such as the device is just now way too slim to house that port. Now, number five is the actual 5G connectivity. Now, there are claims that 5G will provide speeds of up to 100 gigabits. That's around 100 times faster than 4G. Also, it's expected to give you reduced latency. Latency is the time that passes from the moment information is sent from a device until it can be used by the receiver. Now, this this is all very exciting if you actually live in an area that offers 5G. Keep in mind that you'll also need a 5G plan with your network provider. Government and network providers still need to work out a lot of things such as the security side of 5G. And of course there are a lot of other features to get excited about such as the new camera, the beautiful 4K display and the new Snapdragon 865 processor. 
All right guys, so those are my five features that I'm excited about with the Xperia 1 Mark II. And in all honesty, hopefully when the device does launch and when it does land, the price drops off a little bit because it does seem like a hefty price tag of 1,200 euros. But let me know what you guys think. What's your best feature that you're excited about with this new phone? Leave it in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. Guys, I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.